Hi guys, welcome to Tech Week. So we are back with another lead code question. Today's problem was Core Schedule Three. That was a lead code hard question. Basically, talking about this question, it wasn't uh, that hard if you know the concepts clearly, like how to approach the problem. That's what one should know actually. Okay, so beginning with what the question has. Let's see the question. There are n different online courses numbered one to n. You are given an array of courses where we have courses I. That's the duration and the last day. We have uh, these I's continuously, and for duration I days, it should finish in the last day. Okay, so you have been given the last day before which it should finish and the duration for that particular course. Assuming that the first day is the day when you will take you cannot take two or more courses simultaneously just remember that now for courses uh, that's uh, an example as given let's see this example very well here okay. what we'll do is uh, the approach i'll be using it i'll explain it here then we look to the code let's first arrange these last days that's the first index of this in ascending order so 200 is the first last day then the third one then the second and then the why i arrange the last days because we cannot use them before this okay so that is why. now once we have the last days let's assume for the first one now this is very less so if we begin this for first day duration is 100 so it would be finished in 101 day actually in the 100 day but consuming right let's take it 100 day for 101st day that's we'll begin with this one it will take 1000 so it will end here at one one zero zero now in the third one again we take 200 days so more than 200 this is still less now coming to the last one it takes 2000 days so now see this is less than the last day yeah it is valid for this is it less than the last day yeah it's valid again it's less than or equal to but here you can see it's not so the maximum courses we could take is three this is what we need to do. We need to arrange the last days in ascending order. Create a queue in a way. It's better if you go up with a heap. That's better I would suggest. Uh, addition on the basis of the duration. We we'll add the duration and check if it's less than the last day. If yes, then take it. If not, then don't. Let's look at the code, how it's given. So first of all, we'll sort it. We have used this lambda function to specify on which basis it has to be sorted. That's on the first index. We'll create a priority queue. That's a max heap to track the maximum duration of the courses. According to the duration, we'll do that. Now, initially, the time was zero. We took the duration for the first course and the last day. Added the time with duration and the heap will have that duration. If that time is greater than the last day, then obviously we don't need this. Then we'll remove it from the heap. Again, we'll do this. Now, once we are done with this process, we'll get the heap with the number of elements or number of courses that are actually specifying it. The number of courses that are valid. So that is what we we'll take up. This will take order of n log n time. Okay. This was a difficult and a tricky one so if there are any doubts please let me know in the comment box if any issues with any of uh, the questions interview questions do let me know i'll be there and happy to help you out thank you